Hello, good evening. Saturday night here in the Philippines. British expat in the Philippines. Yes, we are monitored. Monitorized. We're monitored too. I'd like to address the issue that one of my well-known critics has decided that he's going to uh, continue his barrage of abuse and criticism of our channel and other channels here in the Philippines. There are a lot, and, and I'll, I'll remove myself from the discussion right at the moment. There are a lot of Americans who have come here to the Philippines, got married, settled down, living here permanently. And by their own admission, they were not exactly well healed when they first arrived. They've, they've got a reasonable and acceptable pension, and they sought to maybe top up their disposable income by having a YouTube channel, channel and allowing it to become, or encouraging it to become monetarized. Now, I don't think there's anybody out there that would hold any of these guys in um, criticism that they're doing it to raise money for themselves. They're not e-beggars. They, they get it from the views. They get it from the views in terms of the advertising and in some cases uh, associating themselves with different products that they affiliate with. That's the way that YouTube and Google have set up the Advent's marketing tool. And they no doubt pay the same as everybody else does, and that is they have to pay tax. They don't have a choice in many cases because not only does the Philippine government tax them, the American government taxes them before they even receive their money from YouTube. And the idea that somehow one, one disgruntled individual can suggest that we as creators, as they like to call us, YouTube creators, content creators, are not entitled to receive the remuneration that comes from running a channel. Now, you don't hear anybody complaining about what maybe Tim K does, or what's that other one, regular guy, successful channels. And why? Because they are successful. And to take them on would be to probably draw more attention than the person criticizing them would want on his own channel. Now nobody, nobody in their right mind would throw away a thousand dollars American plus per month as a, an income generated by an alleged successful channel. Neither would they throw away the build-up of over three million views and twenty odd thousand plus subscribers. And to suggest by one of them, an American guy by the name of Mike, M-Y-K, he is, wants you to believe that he shut the channel down himself. Now, let's just presuppose he's right. So, any moment now, he's going to suddenly announce after being without revenue for a whole week Ta-da! I'm back again. See, I had you fooled. No, not quite the way it is. What he's trying to do, in typical Filipino fashion, he's trying to save face. He's giving you bullshit. Because if you go to the people whom run this show, so to speak, YouTube and Google, you will discover they will not be posting information about a channel that has been shut down and the reasons for it. It clearly states that 
that channel, Mike's Philippine Journey, was shut down by YouTube and Google, collectively, which they're part of the same organization, for multiple, multiple copyright infringements. Now, he can say what he wants, but the reality is that's the truth. And there are a lot of reasonable channels that have highlighted this point. Sadly, he has a, a little group of trolls anyway here in the Philippines that sort of helped him along in his exploit to have a go at channels like my own and Calvin's. And we won't, we won't actually name the other ones. I think everybody knows who they are. And a lot of other channels have been subject to Mikey's, as I call him, Mikey's constant barrage of abuse against different individuals or the channels themselves. I would be lying if I said I'm relieved and pleased that he's now finally been shut down. Certainly in that context of the channels that he tended to ridicule and attack myself and my partner and her children. So, karma has come upon the Philippines. And I will stick up for every channel that works hard to build up their subscriber base, their viewing public, and yes, they will be rewarded in a small sense by money that comes from advertising and affiliates that are attached to their channel. And if they choose to use it to support or to top up their support for living here in the Philippines, I should be congratulating them for thinking outside the square. Because to work here in the Philippines is extremely difficult unless you have an online overseas company that you're maybe working for and being paid in dollars or pounds. So, rest in peace, Mikey's Philippine journey. And uh, let's hope that the barrage that he's been used to doing to gain his clicks, that they don't find their way and seep and permeate into his other channel, which currently hasn't been shut down. But I wouldn't hold your breath, because I would well imagine that will be the next one to go. Then what will he do? Go back to advising people in the healthcare business? Not necessarily big money there. Never mind. We hope you all enjoy your Saturday morning over there in the West and those that are here in the East that you have a pleasant evening. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And give us a thumbs up if you feel the need. And yes, we'd love to hear from you. Bye now.